Samsung has moved to the top of the field in the fast charging wars by introducing today a pair of new Type-C power delivery controllers. The SE8A and MM101 both are embedded with an e-flash feature that allows for firmware updates. Both controllers also provide up to 100 watts of power. The SE8A contains an extra security feature called Secure Element making it the first PDE controller to offer an extra level of security. The MM101 can sense moisture which could stop the charging process in situations where the user could receive a fatal shock. It also supports the advanced encryption standard for product authentication. Both chips have over-voltage protection. With the new PDE controllers inside a phone, authorized chargers will be able to communicate with the handset to pass through the optimal amount of juice to make sure the battery is being charged in the most efficient manner. The 100W charging capability compares to the 15W fast charging capability on the Galaxy S10 line and the 25W that comes out of the box on Sammy's mid-range Galaxy A line and the Galaxy S10 5G. While Samsung didn't reveal any estimated charging stats with its announcement, Xiaomi did earlier this year when it unveiled its own 100W technology called Supercharged Turbo. The Chinese manufacturer said that its system could charge a 4000 mAh battery from 0% to 50% in just 7 minutes and take that same battery from 0% to 100% in just 17 minutes. Samsung also points out that with a 100W charger in tow, a smartphone user carrying a laptop, a tablet or a monitor will be able to use the same adapter. This will allow someone on the road to pack fewer accessories. It isn't such a big deal in the larger scheme of things, but every little thing helps when you need to leave home to do your job. Samsung says that the MM101 is currently in the sampling phase while the SE8A is in mass production. That means that we possibly could see 100W fast charging made available for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 or another high-end handset released by the manufacturer later this year. Other companies have been stepping up their fast charging game and Apple is expected to join them. Instead of the 5W chargers that Apple includes with the purchase of an iPhone, there is speculation that it will swap out those power adapters for the same 18W chargers that ship with the iPad Pro. Currently, iPhone users have to spend $50 to buy the 18W adapter from the Apple Store. The recently launched OnePlus 7 Pro comes with the same Warp Charge 30 fast charging system first introduced with the OnePlus 6T McLaren edition. With the Warp Charge 30, the 4000 mAh battery on the latest model will charge up to nearly 50% in only 20 minutes. Oppo's SuperVoq charges at 50W and the foldable Huawei Mate X will feature a 55W fast charger. The combination of larger capacity Capacity batteries and faster charging systems is certainly a boon to power users. Most smartphones will go a whole day without requiring a charge, and when the time does come to plug in, a decent amount of power is restored in just a few minutes using a fast charging system.